Quantum numbers describe values of conserved quantities in the dynamics of a quantum system. In the case of electrons, the quantum numbers can be defined as the sets of numerical values which give acceptable solutions to the Schrödinger wave equation for the hydrogen atom. An important aspect of quantum mechanics is the quantization of the observable quantities, since quantum numbers are discrete sets of integers or half integers, although they could approach infinity in some cases. This distinguishes quantum mechanics from classical mechanics where the values that characterize the system such as mass, charge, or momentum, range continuously. Quantum numbers often describe specifically the energy levels of electrons in atoms, but other possibilities include angular momentum, spin, etc. An important family is flavor quantum numbers, internal quantum numbers which determine the type of a particle and its interactions with other particles through the forces. Any quantum system can have one or more quantum numbers, it is thus difficult to list all possible quantum numbers. How many quantum numbers exist? The question of how many quantum numbers are needed to describe any given system has no universal answer. Hence for each system one must find the answer for a full analysis of the system. A quantized system requires at least one quantum number. The dynamics of any quantum system are described by a quantum Hamiltonian, h. There is one quantum number of the system corresponding to the energy, i.e., the eigenvalue of the Hamiltonian. There is also one quantum number for each operator O that commutes with the Hamiltonian. These are all the quantum numbers that the system can have. Note that the operators O defining the quantum numbers should be independent of each other. Often, there is more than one way to choose a set of independent operators. Consequently, in different situations different sets of quantum numbers may be used for the description of the same system. <laughs> Spatial and angular momentum numbers Four quantum numbers can describe an electron in an atom completely. As per the following model, these nearly compatible quantum numbers are Principal quantum number n Azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number m, spin quantum number s. The spin-orbital interaction, however, relates these numbers. Thus, a complete description of the system can be given with fewer quantum numbers if orthogonal choices are made for these basis vectors. Topic: <laughs> Traditional nomenclatures. hund mulliken molecular orbital theory Many different models have been proposed throughout the history of quantum mechanics, but the most prominent system of nomenclature spawned from the hund mulliken molecular orbital theory of Friedrich Hund, Robert S. Mulliken, and contributions from Schrödinger, Slater and John Leonard Jones. This system of nomenclature incorporated Bohr energy levels, hund mulliken orbital theory, and observations on electron spin based on spectroscopy and Hund's rules. This model describes electrons using four quantum numbers, n, m, ms, given below. It is also the common nomenclature in the classical description of nuclear particle states, e.g., protons and neutrons. A quantum description of molecular orbitals require different quantum numbers, because the Hamiltonian and its symmetries are quite different. Note that there is no universal fixed value for m and ms values. Rather, the m and ms values are random. The only requirement is that the naming schematic used within a particular set of calculations or descriptions must be consistent e.g. The orbital occupied by the first electron in a p orbital could be described as m. Topic minus one or m zero or m. Topic one, but the m value of the next unpaired electron in that orbital must be different. Yet the m assigned to electrons in other orbitals again can be m minus one or m. Topic zero or m one. These rules are summarized as follows: 
Example, the quantum numbers used to refer to the outermost valence electrons of the carbon C atom, which are located in the 2p atomic orbital, R, n. Two second electron shell. One p orbital subshell m. Topic one zero or minus one mis. One half parallel spins. Results from spectroscopy indicated that up to two electrons can occupy a single orbital. However two electrons can never have the same exact quantum state nor the same set of quantum numbers according to Hund's rules, which addresses the Pauli exclusion principle. A fourth quantum number with two possible values was added as an ad hoc assumption to resolve the conflict. This supposition could later be explained in detail by relativistic quantum mechanics and from the results of the renowned stern gerlach experiment. Total angular momenta numbers <laughs> Total momentum of a particle When one takes the spin-orbit interaction into consideration, the L and S operators no longer commute with the Hamiltonian, and their eigenvalues therefore change over time. Thus another set of quantum numbers should be used. This set includes for example, consider the following eight states, defined by their quantum numbers. The quantum state S in the system can be described as linear combination of these eight states. However, in the presence of spin-orbit interaction, if one wants to describe the same system by eight states that are eigenvectors of the Hamiltonian i.e. each represents a state that does not mix with others over time, we should consider the following eight states. Nuclear angular momentum quantum numbers In nuclei, the entire assembly of protons and neutrons nucleons has a resultant angular momentum due to the angular momenta of each nucleon, usually denoted I. If the total angular momentum of a neutron is Jn. Plus S and for a proton is Jp. Plus s, where s for protons and neutrons happens to be one half again. Then the nuclear angular momentum quantum numbers I are given by i equals j n minus j p, j n minus j p plus one, j n minus j p plus two, j n plus j p minus two, j n plus j p minus one, j n plus j p. Parity with the number i is used to label nuclear angular momentum states. Examples for some isotopes of hydrogen (H), carbon (C), and sodium (Na) are. The reason for the unusual fluctuations in I, even by differences of just one nucleon, are due to the odd, even numbers of protons and neutrons. Pairs of nucleons have a total angular momentum of zero, just like electrons in orbitals, leaving an odd, even numbers of unpaired nucleons. The property of nuclear spin is an important factor for the operation of NMR spectroscopy in organic chemistry, and MRI in nuclear medicine, due to the nuclear magnetic moment interacting with an external magnetic field. Elementary particles Elementary particles contain many quantum numbers which are usually said to be intrinsic to them. However, it should be understood that the elementary particles are quantum states of the standard model of particle physics, and hence the quantum numbers of these particles bear the same relation to the Hamiltonian of this model as the quantum numbers of the Bohr atom does to its Hamiltonian. In other words, each quantum number denotes a symmetry of the problem. It is more useful in quantum field theory to distinguish between spacetime and internal symmetries. Typical quantum numbers related to spacetime symmetries are spin related to rotational symmetry, the parity, C parity and T parity related to the Poincaré symmetry of spacetime. Typical internal symmetries are lepton number and baryon number or the electric charge. For a full list of quantum numbers of this kind, see the article on flavor. Multiplicative quantum numbers 
A minor but often confusing point is as follows, most conserved quantum numbers are additive, so in an elementary particle reaction, the sum of the quantum numbers should be the same before and after the reaction. However, some, usually called a parity, are multiplicative, i.e., their product is conserved. All multiplicative quantum numbers belong to a symmetry like parity in which applying the symmetry transformation twice is equivalent to doing nothing involution. See also Electron configuration <laughs>